Great. I'm back. And we're going to put another 12 cells on the wall. The day today looks like this. We are making next to no power. I got the BMS side already wired up. And I uh, just came back from Battery Experts in Pickering. I got a bunch more battery terminals, spring connectors, whatever you want to call them. I also got <coughs> one of these lightning arrestor or whatever you call these things. But uh, yeah, I want some extra protection. So that's going to be going either on the side the side or on the bottom, I'm not sure where I'm putting that yet. Just have to look at the instructions. Alright, so let's get to it.
great. As you guys can see, I finished the last 12 cells here. Got the BMS hooked up. I got everything hooked up. In total now, I have a, I believe I have over 10 kilowatts of power altogether. Uh, doing the math at uh, 5 amp hours each. Uh, some of them I paired had a little more than 5 amp hours each. But on average to 5 amp hours each. So what I did, um, I'm now going to call this a legit 10 kilowatt. Before it was a little under. Now it's a little over. Uh, quite a bit over actually. Probably 11 kilowatts or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. But uh, yeah. So that's what we got going. And we're going to go through all the cells on each four BMS boards. We're going to take a look at the balance of the cells. This is the new one right there. That one I already checked. They're very, very close. With, within 0 0.05 of a volt. Let's check this. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna check this one because I know this is within 0 0.05 of a volt. The two biggest differences. So I'm gonna check this one. Three point eight two, three point eight two, three point eight four, three point eight two, three point eight three, three point eight two, three point eight three, and three point eight one. So that's eight there. Now let's go these ones here. <coughs> three point eight six. 3.85, and 3.8, 3.87, 3.87, and 3.86. And the last cell here is 3.91. So that's the highest cell. Obviously that one's had some is being balanced here and there. When we hit uh, peak peak volts. Okay, let's check this other one here. Okay, so those are very, very close. There we go. BMS boards on these packs, they had a 0.15 difference. 0.15. So, they have been bouncing, they've been doing a good job. Let's check this last BMS board. This one doesn't have any lights, doesn't show me anything, I don't know when it's bouncing, so this one I like to check more frequency, frequently. Okay. 3.82. 3 .2, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4, 2 .4
Very good. Awesome. So, looks like they're all balanced, they're good to go. And I have some extra power. Now I should be able to run my AC units past midnight after the sun goes down. Two window shakers, 5,000 uh, BTUs. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the like button, helps a lot.